Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Welcome to review number actually two and three <laughs> for today. Um, I'm going to pair the Limoncello Thyme as well as the Peach Basil Teeny together in this review. Um, they, they don't come as a set. I just want to clarify that right away. If you are going to order either of these candles, you are going to get a set of two Limoncello Thymes or a set of two Peach Basil Teenies. You do not get one of each. So let me just clarify that. I am pairing them together only because they are kind of in the same quote unquote collection, I guess, <laughs> in that they are like cocktail-y drink type concoctions in terms of the fragrance. So, um, and this allows me to wipe out two reviews in one video. So that's how we're doing this one today. And um, I'm excited to share this review with you guys because these just released this past week and um, I've been burning them this week because I was anticipating the release. So hopefully these reviews are helpful. Um, both of them are currently retailing um, for $45.50 plus $5.50 shipping on QVC. I will put links for both in the description box down below. So That'll just take you right over to QVC where you can purchase these if you're interested. And um, they are uh, 18 ounces and they are in that kind of classic Homeworks um, hobnail style container. Um, we were all very familiar with this. Harry has used it for a couple of years now. Um, I really like the design of this particular container. This year he did something different in that he, um, and I'm just going to try to take this one off with one hand here. He actually paired them with wood lids, which are the same type of lids he has on the Ulta exclusive candles, the three wicks over at Ulta. So I really actually like the wood lids with the hobnail. I think it's an interesting like textural combination together. And um, I really, I kind of like the wood lids. I think they're neat. Um, but uh yeah, so um, same type of glass jar as before, just with a different lid. And um, yeah, so uh, before I get into the reviews really quickly, so many of you were asking about a tutorial on how I customize my Homeworks candle pedestals. Guess what? I did that. It's already up on my channel. Woohoo! <laughs> I uploaded that earlier this past week, so I will link that in the description box down below and I will try to reference it in every video going forward for the next like few videos at least because I know a lot of you were wanting an actual tutorial on how I do this. So the video shows you exactly how I do it in my backyard. Um, I will link it in the description box down below. It is super easy. So. Don't be intimidated about customizing your homework's candle pedestals. There's really no need to be intimidated. It's super easy. Okay, let's start with Limoncello Time, which is the candle that's burning. Um, with both of these, I am at the halfway point, so I feel like I have a pretty good sense of the fragrance itself. I know how it performs in my house, which is a, it's a rather large house. It's open concept, so... Um, it does take a pretty substantial candle to fill my space in certain areas of this house, but I also have one particular area that I call my fragrance vortex where literally um, any fragrance will just um, be thrown around kind of like in what seems like a vortex and it just like it. I can smell the candle upstairs, I can smell it all throughout the downstairs, and that area is actually our entryway right over here. Um, I do think airflow is very important when, um, when burning candles. If you have a room that doesn't have good airflow, sometimes it can be hard for even the strongest candle to, to escape that. So um, kind of keep that in mind. I'm sorry that the light is coming in and out. It's, a re it's really rainy again. <laughs> I'm a fan, but <laughs> the sunny days are done for right now. So it, it, it might get even a little bit darker than this, but we'll just call it ambiance. Okay, 
Limoncello time. So I have to say, now that I'm at the halfway point with this, I actually have a slightly different um, opinion of it because what I'm smelling is actually changing the longer that I'm burning this candle. On cold sniff, this just smelled like sugared lemons. That's what this smelled like. <laughs> When I got it out of the box, um, I immediately thought, oh, this is like just a sweet sugared lemon scent. It's nice. Um, I like it. But I thought, you know what? Um, it might be kind of interesting to actually be able to smell the thyme. So maybe that'll come out when I'm burning it. Um, and it didn't, not at first. <laughs> but yesterday during what I think was maybe like my fourth burn it actually finally started to um the time started to come out so now i can smell a mix of lemon and thyme um by the way this candle has now been burning since pretty early this morning you can see this has a really deep wax pool i actually need to throw um not throw this out uh blow this out because it's way past um the point that i should be burning it with any candle, especially if it's not like a Yankee that needs a lot longer to pull out, I would highly recommend not burning more than three to four hours because that is when with some some candles start sitting way earlier, like some of my Bath and Body Works. But with a lot of candles, they do kind of hit a point where you do have to blow them out and let the wax harden <clears throat> and then trim your wicks. So I'm starting to see just little puffs coming up, so it, it is time for me to blow this out. Okay, so let me read you guys the notes, and then I'll tell you exactly what I smell in this. It's a very unique scent. Um, so this says that this is a blend of limoncello, fresh garden thyme, sage, and grapefruit. Okay, like I said, when I first got this on cold sniff, it was just like the sugared, sweet, um, kind of juicy lemon scent and for the first few burns that's what it was as well but now that I'm into like I think this is the fifth burn um, this is this is getting some time <laughs> mixing in here um, and I also think that I actually pick up a little bit of sage as well so it's a really interesting mix of that sweet um, limoncello mixed with herb. Um, I don't know that a lot of people would be crazy about this particular scent, but if you like very unique, um, very unique kind of interesting blends that you wouldn't necessarily think to pair together, this would be a good one to try out. As far as grapefruit, um, I'm not sure that I pick up a specific grapefruit note. Um, really that limoncello or sweeter lemon scent is the predominant note here. Um, even with the thyme and the sage mixed in, I do get more of that sweet lemon than the herb note, but the herb note is definitely there now. I'm not sure if it's only kicking in now, maybe because the wax wasn't blended as much, or maybe the fragrance oils for the thyme and the sage just kind of settled a little bit when the candle was being poured. I'm not sure why all of a sudden it switched up, but it did. Um, I really like this one. And by the way, this particular one was sent to me for our, from Homeworks as PR. I just received one. I didn't receive a set or two of two or anything. But after burning this, this isn't one that I would choose to actually repurchase myself. And I think the reason is that um, I don't know that I love the thyme and the sage. If this just continued to be sugared lemon, I think I actually would have purchased another one because I'm really getting into lemon scents. I used to never, ever like them, but now I really have come to enjoy them. However, the thyme and the sage for me is kind of throwing it off a little bit, so I don't love it as much as I did on cold sniff. The strength and the throw, I would put both at about a six. Not the strongest Homeworks candle that I've ever had, but also not terrible either. It definitely does better in the entryway, but I can put it in my kitchen and it certainly fills the kitchen and kind of starts to travel into this hallway area here and into the family room. 
but it's not crazy strong. So if you are looking for a super strong Homeworks, I'm not sure that this one is going to be it, but it's a very unique scent. And if you want to try something totally different, I would totally suggest checking this one out. But if you know you're not going to like those herb notes, mm, I'm going to say hold off. So we are now going to go ahead and I'm actually going to blow this out because um, I don't, it's time is done. It's, it's been more than four hours. So um, there we go. I just kind of um, blew that off in the background here, but let's talk peach basil teeny. So this one is also at the halfway point you can see there. So peach basil teeny, um, let's read the notes off the bottom of this one. So we've got uh, fresh peach, green basil, squeezed lemon juice, and iced vodka. First off, if you're worried about this having a boozy note, it doesn't. Um, I was just kind of sniffing it on cold sniff again just to make sure that it's not there on cold sniff either. It's not. It's not. There is no vodka in this. <laughs> if you don't like boozy scents, do not stress about that being present in this candle. I have not smelled vodka once. Um, even, I haven't even smelled like a cocktail vibe to this. So despite those delicious notes that I read on the bottom, really the main one that I get you guys is just peach. And it's not even a crazy sweet peach. Um, it's a really nice, just fresh peach. And also a, I also detect a little bit of like a peach blossom type note, just like a white, like a light white floral note. It's very light. This is predominantly a fruit scent, um, but I do not pick up that lemon. I do not pick up the vodka. And more importantly, I don't get any basil. Um, and even at the halfway point when with the lemoncello thyme, the thyme and the sage kicked in, the basil has never come out with this one for my nose. That being said, um, I, I don't know that you wouldn't pick up the basil. It's just my nose isn't, isn't smelling it. I do actually have another candle that I just recently got from the brand Sundaray. And it's a mango basil scent. And that is 50-50 mango, 50% um, mango, 50% basil. Like, it's a very distinct note, that basil. Um, and I just don't get it here at all. So if you're worried about the basil part and you're looking for just a peach candle, I, I would go for this. I actually really like this one. I'm not going to order more myself because I still have my fingers crossed <laughs> for more gourmand scents and possibly, and my fingers are crossed, super crossed for more farm stand peach, which is my favorite peach from Homeworks. I love the farm stand strawberry, farm stand blueberry, and farm stand peach. I think Harry's take on those sweeter fruit scents are just much more in line with my personal fragrance tastes than this one is. With that slight floral note in here, it just, it makes it really nice for spring, I think. But I just, I really like sugary sweetness. <laughs> I'm just not getting the same level of sugary sweetness that I really want from this particular peach. However, I will say the strength and the throw of this one is a little bit better than the Limoncello Thyme. So this one gives me more of a seven in terms of strength and even a seven in terms of throw. It reaches throughout the house a little bit further than the Limoncello Thyme. I like this one and I do think that I would recommend it, especially if you don't like a crazy sweet peach scent. And if you like that hint of floral that Harry sometimes pairs in with his fruity scents, um, I think you're really going to enjoy this. Harry is famous for putting um, a hint of floral with all of his fruity scents and a hint of fruit <laughs> into his florals. That drives some people crazy, like <laughs> Brett from Philly Candleman. He doesn't like that Harry does that. But I think it's kind of unique and 
different and I actually enjoy that. And it has allowed me to really get into florals a little bit more than I ever have been in the past. So that being said, I think both candles are definitely a thumbs up in terms of being good performers. Um, I think they are kind of nice, unique scents. And if you like the jars, if you like the lids, if you like the aesthetic and the scents, I, I think you'll really get a kick out of these. So I think they're definitely worth checking out if you know that you like your peach and you like your sugared lemon with a hint of herbs in there. So there you guys go. Those are my thoughts on these two new Homeworks candles. Again, keep in mind, you're getting a set of two limoncello in time and two peach basil teenies, not one of each. All right, there you go. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today, and um, I'll have more candle reviews for you guys coming up next weekend. Leave me any questions down below, and be sure to open that description box. You'll find the links to where to find these down below. All right, have a great rest of your day. Toodaloo!